Then our Department of Nanoengineering, as I said, the world's first department of nanoengineering and the only department of nanoengineering where you can get nanoengineering degrees, uh, but we also have the chemical engineering degree program anchored in the nanoengineering department. So you can get your degrees either in chemical engineering or in nanoengineering. Okay. Uh, <coughs> clearly, uh, nanoengineering, what is nanoengineering? Well, this is where uh, your materials really are defined at the molecular level, and this is what we're doing these days, is that we're designing our materials starting at the molecular level to get the mechanical characteristics we want down the road, okay? And the best way to look at it is when you look at your periodic table here from chemistry, that there's suddenly a third dimension added to the uh, periodic table, namely the depth, and this is the scale of the material at which you're working. And uh, when you work at the, uh, the molecular level, then you can define the mechanical characteristics of your materials, the outcome of your materials when you assemble them. And so uh, uh, really, as we discussed already, it's a multidisciplinary area, nanoengineering. And the three main application areas for us here in uh, the Jacob School are biomedical nanotechnology, molecular and nanomaterials, and then nanotechnologies for energy uh, conversion and energy storage, okay? So those are the key areas for us.